we must be able to worship God in understanding. That is a very, you know, it is a beautiful place to be. It is that which pleases God that you worship Him in understanding. You know who your God is. You know who you are. You know why you worship. God hates hypocrisy. God hates hypocrisy. He says very clearly, I desire truth in the innermost being inside of us. He does not want a negligent worship. He does not want your negligent um, attention. Praise the Lord. This is what happened to the disciples. The secret of the disciples' success was that every time they faced the challenge, God gave them. In fact, the Lord graciously, graciously called their attention to himself. what proceeded out of Jesus mouth is all this. but when the Bible speaks about heart it is not the physical it rarely refers to the physical organ rather it refers to the inner person praise God so the heart refers to the inner person in other passages of scripture it leans towards the mind in other passages, it connects to understanding. In other sections, it talks about the attitude that we have. All coming under the term, everybody say the word. The word is used as a seat of the person's inner being, his guiding motivation. That is why seamlessly scripture talks about what people say in their heart. Think about it. God is always looking at the heart. Right now I'm looking at your eyes. I'm looking at your body language. But God looks at you. That is why in scripture seamlessly it will speak about what a person is saying in his heart. So there is a constant conversation going on in your heart. Praise God. And uh, that is the realm that God is interested in. In uh, Luke chapter 1 and verse 51. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Prophets are being quoted. What Jesus does is being declared. It says, He has done mighty deeds with His arm. He has scattered those who are proud in the thoughts of their Everybody say thoughts of their hearts. Say thoughts of their hearts. The Lord deals with us according to the thoughts of our. This is why it is so important. It is extremely important to pay attention to what's going on in our heart. It is the first step to all that God has for you is to allow the Holy Spirit to influence your heart. Amen. Church, say amen. That's why it says, that's where he sheds his love. That's where he, you know, he, he ministers the word. It is the place so you must provide fertility. You must provide a fertile soil. That place creates something. The heart creates things. The heart creates things. It creates things. That place where all this takes place, you know, it, it creates things like in Genesis 1. God said, similarly, we speak, we say, we entertain thoughts in our hearts. And that creates things. The heart is a reservoir. Listen carefully. The heart is a reservoir into which the streams of what you speak, the thoughts, you know, you entertain, your memories. The heart is the stage where all of these come together. What you take in with your eyes, what you take in with your senses, all of this comes into this place. If you can think of it like a giant reservoir and all these things are streams pouring into this one reservoir and it's called 
what does the scripture call it it calls it the heart our mouth and the actions that we do are that which spills out of your reservoir the words of your mouth the actions that you do yes are things that spill out from the yes the reservoir called the heart yes out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks what makes a man impure is what's coming out from yes yeah, from inside us that reservoir if the lord was only interested in our nice clothes and our presence sir attendance yes in church then he would not have written so much about the heart from the heart the person materializes the sum and substance of who you are is your heart haven't you experienced it any time in worship any time you've actually opened yourself up to the holy spirit one of the first things the holy spirit does is adhi hai but i'm i'm dressed in my finest he's looking straight at the heart straight at the heart the first thing you should do in your quiet time the first thing when you wake up in the morning the first thing of of anything that you are involved in is to examine your heart examine your heart always my examine your heart maybe you have led worship for a hundred years examine your heart maybe you have preached the word of god a hundred years examine your heart every day wake up examine your heart maybe you've done church since you were a baby examine your heart because god does not please he is not pleased by an adulterous heart it says god is hurt how i have been hurt god the creator of heavens and earth god the creator of the universe is saying how i have been hurt because god is not interested you know he is not impressed by external service he is impressed by the heart love the lord your god with all your heart the bible speaks about god he is the story of the bible the from genesis to revelation is a is the history of god uh, and his interaction with men his striving with our hearts praise the lord his striving with our hearts his um, um, his reaching out to our heart whenever god is speaking to you this is what god is doing he is he is interacting with your heart interacting with your heart that is the only interaction he wants he is an interaction directly to your heart and jesus is interested in your heart jesus is interested expressly in your heart he wants to come in he wants to clean that reservoir he wants to clean that reservoir that reservoir filled with so much filth he wants to heal it he wants to heal it praise the lord thank you jesus i'm encourage you to study the bible i have never seen a book like the bible oh the depths of wisdom in the word of god you will never be the same study the bible it will make you oof. it will raise you up it will raise you up it will it will give you a high beyond any drug on this planet